Yeah, nine, it's right at nine o'clock. Up to 2015, we were seeing fewer and fewer right whales in the critical habitats that had already been designated. Bay of Fundy, Rosaway Basin. Where did they go? Has she been seen up here before today? Do you know, Kels? You know, it's so valuable with North Atlantic right whales that we can identify them as individuals. When the right whales were no longer showing up in the Bay of Fundy, we knew who they were. And when we started seeing individuals up in the Gulf of St. Lawrence, we were actually able to know it was the same individuals that used to go to the Bay of Fundy that were now coming here. So it wasn't just a case of, geez, you know, have some whales moved? You know, what's happening? We actually knew that there was a habitat shift that whales that had been coming to the Bay of Fundy year after year were no longer showing up in the Bay of Fundy. They were coming to the Gulf of St. Lawrence instead. And it probably took us five years to find out where they moved to. Shot. Been shot. Yeah. We've had this whale before too. In 2015, the aerial team comes up conducts a survey in the Shediac Valley. They find 35 right whales. It's the largest aggregation of right whales that have ever been seen in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. So mom and calf are together. Calf's been kind of uh, near the mother's chin. The right whale story of what's happened in the last decade, little more than a decade now, is really climate change in action. We have seen a right whale species that feeds very low down on the food chain go through a massive habitat shift in order to find enough food. But to be able to document this during a decade is worrisome. We often wonder how long are the whales going to stay here? <laughs>